Hi there. In this screencast, I'll show you how to sign up for a Nearpod account and how to get started on a presentation. So to get an account, we'll find the Create Account a button. And we'll go ahead and fill in our first name, last initial only, and our email addresses. Now remember yours is your student number, which is your long number, at ep-student.org. And your password is your lunch pin, learn. And click submit. Okay. Now the first screen that it will bring you to is a getting started. If you want to learn the ins and outs of Nearpod, you're going to want to go ahead and tap here and begin and, and watch this little slideshow. We want to actually skip right over this for now and go into creating. Now the only way that you can get into creating one is to go back to the nearpod.com and log in again. Now you'll only have to do this the first time when you create the account. After that you'll just click on login. And once we get to this page, the three buttons that you'll use the most are the Create button, the Engage button when you present, and if you ever wanted to assess um, or see like how many people have done participated in your Nearpod, you'd click on this. We're going to go to the Create button so that we can begin to create a presentation. Kind of easy to walk through because just look for what you're trying to do. We're trying to create a new presentation, so we'll go ahead and click on that. When you first begin a presentation, it's very likely that you'll be starting one from scratch. So we'll start from scratch. They begin you off with two pre-made slides. One is a welcome to Nearpod slide and the other is kind of a thank you for using Nearpod slide. You can edit out of those if you don't like by just selecting and then selecting edit. Now if I don't like this picture and I wanted to add a different picture, I would go to image and when you click Browse My Files on your iPad, it's going to bring you to your existing photos. If you don't have an existing photo, you have to go out to the internet or take a photo and put one in there. While I'm working on my laptop, I'm just going to have to slide my window over a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and grab an image from... Oops, that one didn't work. Let's try a different one. It looks like JPEG works. And I'll go ahead and click. Well, actually, I think I'll add some text here. I'll say something like, I'm going to pretend like I'm making a presentation about dogs. One other thing, let me slide this back over. One other thing that um, some people get worried about is this dark box right here covering up a lot of your image. You're in edit mode right now, and so it'll stay there. But as soon, if you don't type anything in here, it won't show up on your presentation. So I'll just click Save. You can see in my presentation that that, that dark box went away. Um, so I'm just going to show you one other thing and then you're going to kind of explore yourself. Another way to add is to add content, to add images or text. I'm going to use this button. You guys won't have access to um, putting web pages in there because you need to pay for that feature. But you will want to make sure that you add an activity every so often after you've offered your audience some information, an activity like a quiz or a poll or ask them to draw something. Um, so when I click on add an activity, it'll give me my four options here. I think it's kind of nice in a presentation when you begin to take a poll of your audience and so that they can kind of invest themselves in the presentation right away. So if in fact I was doing a presentation about dogs, I might find out some things about my dog or my, <laughs> my audience. Now I'm going to make my poll maybe five questions long. And I don't want to just find out who has dogs or who likes dogs or anything like that. I'm going to try to vary my questions a little bit 
notes just to see what kind of results I get. question or an answer I'm sorry and I think that's good certainly we could go on and on and on no, I can add an image here if I'd like. The thing that you need to know about that, if you do that, I'll just go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to move my window over again. Now, on your iPad, you'd click Browse My Files, and it would bring you to your camera roll. I'm going to add the same image um, on my poll that's on my first slide. So just drag it right over here and drop it. I don't see it here, but I see that it's added here. So you just need to trust that while you're in edit mode, you won't, you won't actually see the image. When I scroll down, click Save, and I can kind of see the sequence of my presentation. If something was out of sequence, I could just click the slide and put the slide where I want it to go. Okay, and we're going to stop right there because I think it's time for you to do some free exploration. Feel free to ask your friends and teachers um, if you have any questions. Oh, I'm sorry, one other thing. Don't forget to title your presentation. Because you don't want a whole bunch of untitled presentations in your library. Okay. And...